Getting a college degree has long been considered the ticket to a high paying and stable job, but a student's return to campus could trade in voc or a vocational school now be a faster path to economic success. Michael Yoshida has her story. There's a surprising trend that appears to be paying off for younger workers. Success should not be measured by the color of the collar. With the lack of skilled labor force and those trade and technical jobs, we see the need and the impact in the economy that we need more of those jobs. Over the last five years, enrollment in bachelor's degree programs fell, while enrollment in vocational schools grew. That according to data from the National Student Clearinghouse. You won't have that college debt. You won't have you know, those student loans that you normally have with that college education. Part of the shift appears to stem from a post-pandemic reevaluation of an investment in blue-collar work. The shipyard runs an apprentice program giving workers the skills to do these jobs. They can earn up to $100,000 a year, and you don't need a college degree. Both the federal and state government have invested a lot in infrastructure, so you're seeing a lot of jobs in, in those areas in construction. As hiring rates for workers in their 20s have risen in recent years for roles requiring a vocational or associate's degree, some offer this warning. You can get a high paying career, a great wage right out of high school without a college degree. Yes, that is absolutely true, but we also need to pair that with leadership skills and leadership education and saying, you know, after a few years, you know, do you really see yourself physically doing that job all the way through retirement? That was Michael Ushida reporting. Michael, thank you so much. Well, enter consumer alert. An egg recall is in effect for nine states after dozens of people have been sickened by salmonella. Now, Wisconsin health officials initiated the recall of eggs from Milo's Poultry Farms of Bondul. Uh, now, according to the CDC, 65 people have been infected by a strain of salmonella. This includes Minnesota, but does not include North Dakota. The CDC is advising anyone who ate the eggs and is experiencing symptom symptoms to contact a health care provider. Well, financial woes for another big discount retailer as today. Big Lots announced that it is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The retailer blamed several economic factors for the move, including high inflation and interest rates. Now, as part of the filing, private equity firm Nexus Capital Management is taking over nearly all of the Big Lots stores and business operations. Big Lots is in the process of closing roughly 300 of its 1,400 stores across the nation. Well, the Mega Millions jackpot has risen to an estimated $800 million with a cash option now of just over $400 million for tomorrow's drawing. The jackpot was last won in Illinois on June 4th with a ticket valued at $552 million. Now, the odds of winning the jackpot are a one in more than $302 million. But now, the overall odds of winning any Mega Million prize, well, that is one in 24. Well, so to come on Valley News Live for you at 4, we continue to follow breaking news for you as we're learning more details involving a now former Bison football player and alleged shooting early Sunday morning. Plus, meteorologist Joseph Williams will give us a look at our forecast and when we can expect some temperatures to start heating up.